Well, I'm delighted to say we're joined by Aaron Fraser, a Hearts fan, is looking forward to the semi-final of the League Cup. But after last night, you'll have to come off Clyde, cloud nine, I think, Aaron. That was a great win. It was a fantastic win. Obviously, historically, we've struggled at Dens Park, so to get our first win there in quite some time was very good. Obviously, we had a pretty good start with Bosnich's free kick, and after that, we just kind of kicked on from there. Although, I must say, Dundee were... I'm not going to say woeful, but they're in a bit of a hard spot at the moment and I think it'll be quite hard for them to get out of the rut. So they'll be hoping the new manager can turn things around for them. Six points clear. Are you dreaming of the title? Well, I'm definitely dreaming, but whether that dream will become a reality, we'll just have to wait and see. To be honest, like, like I said in my last interview, I'm trying not to get too carried away with it, but the longer we keep on winning, the more I'm hopeful. Like, if we don't win the title, which depending on how the results go late in the season. I think we could definitely still aim for Europe, although Uchi and Suter will be big misses. That double injury blow was an absolute killer. Yeah, with that in mind, I watched Hearts. I was at Tynecastle on uh, the weekend match against Aberdeen. And, and I have to say, even without Ick Piezu and Suter, they were impressive. Well, to be fair, losing Uchi and Suter has been a big blow. However, Di Camona has stepped in right into John Suter's shoes because as we've seen on his debut against Motherwell in the League Cup and also in recent games, he's a good player of the ball. So it's good that he can play the ball out and we're not just scorning it towards our big striker up front like we were last season with Kyle Lafferty. And McLean's clever as well. He stepped in for Uchi as well. He's a clever player and he compliments Naismith because Naismith can play behind him. He can play up front and he can interchange up front. And they like to keep the ball on the deck, which when you're talking about the Murrayfield game on Sunday, might be an advantage versus Celtic's big defence. So. The players who've stepped up, we've just replaced quality with quality, and it's nice to see that we've got very good squad depth this season, which certainly makes a change from having to bring on 16-year-olds every week. Hearts against Celtic, Murrayfield, Aaron, how do you see that one going? It's difficult to call. If, if I'm thinking just now, I'm hoping for a Hearts win, maybe 1-0, 2-1. I think it'd be quite narrow if we'd ever actually get the victory. However, I do feel that it will be a challenge. But if we can get it, the roof's going to come off Murrayfield. I'll tell you that for nothing. I mean, there's a huge support there. If you're going to have a match winner, who do you think it's going to be? That is actually a very good question. But my answer to you is Stephen Naismith. He's the main man for us. He's in a rich vein of form at the moment. Well, with his goals, like his top goal scorer in the league. And he's on an absolute roll at the moment. Got back at the Scotland squad, scoring goals for Scotland. So the man can do no wrong at the moment. So... And also, with the news that Scott Brown could possibly be injured for the tie, that would leave a massive gap in Celtic's midfield for Naismith to exploit. So I feel if anyone's going to have, if anyone's going to make the difference for Hearts against Celtic, then it's going to be Naismith.